going to make the best of our opportunities. Mark, have you made a decision yet on, on your future as far as whether or not you're going to or coming back? Nope. Did, did you get a, a draft grade or you put any thought into it or did you just all go Nope. Nope. Let me ask you, if, you, if someone told you right now you were going to be a top 10 pick, would you still play in the bowl game? I know Jake was asked that question. Yeah, I would because, um, you know, like I said, I love football. A lot of people do it, you know, for the money, or for fame. But I really like playing, you know, that's what I'm passionate about. So, yeah, I would still play. What does Georgia have the most to gain from this game, do you think? Um, you know, it's about respect, pride, you know. Uh, you know, we got a lot, still a lot to prove. And, you know, we still got to go out and, you know, play our best game to, you know, make a statement. Last year, I know as far as, uh, especially uh, the fans' uh, perspective of this game, which said uh, it wasn't the best showing. Did y'all bring that back this year and say, look, we're going to go out there, we're going to play this game, and, and, and you know, show that it still means a lot to us to go out there? Well, you know, first of all, I love our fans, but, you know, I, I'm not too, you know, their opinions don't matter because, you know, they're not the ones out there playing, you know. As long as we pull these guys right in this locker room, those seniors, and carry them out the right way, that's all that matters. Forget what anybody else got to say. You know, it's about these seniors. Mike be over here, Rodrigo Tate, who've been here five years. You know, they've been here before I way before I was here, back when uh, Mike Rick was here. So, you know, as long as we carry those guys out the right way, that's what matters. Being a team leader, obviously it's good to have other young leaders. Can you talk about what Aziz has brought uh, to, to the room as far as – having another leader, having another guy like you that kind of leads the way up front. Well, see, Aziz, you know, he don't say much. But he, he does his lot by action, you know. He's going to show his actions, you know, and you know, he gets guys to follow him. And, you know, he's the leader of that outside linebacker room. And he sets a good example every day. You know, he brings – he has juice every day. So, um, you know, he just leads a lot by example. Was it easy for you to become a vocal leader? Because I, I remember last year, you know, Kirby kind of hung that around your neck. I mean, you're, you were going to be the leader, Monty, whether you're ready or not as a sophomore. Was that hard to adjust to, being the guy sent out to talk to the media every week and answer all the tough questions and set the example for your teammates? Well, you know, I definitely don't like talking that much, but... Um, <laughs> It is what it is, you know. That you know, it, it came with the job when I signed up for it. I think uh, Coach Lanny talked about that you were trying to make Aziz more vocal. How do you go about that? Do you say something to him? Be like, you got to talk right here, my man. I mean, Aziz knows when he, you know, when he ha really has to speak and when he doesn't. Uh, you know, some people are just my talk is like Rich. You know, Rich can talk all day. So. Uh, <laughs> You know, is that good or bad? Uh, it's good, about. you know, because Rich will speak up when he's supposed to. But, um, you know, some people just aren't born that way, you know. Can't make nobody into a talker. If he leads by example, let him lead by example. Well, I, mean, I guess what strikes me about you is some of these guys have mastered the art of saying a lot without saying anything. You don't seem to have much room for small talk. You have a hard time just playing the game. and you know, It seems like when you speak, you want to say what's really on your mind, and it's kind of a struggle because, you yeah. know, that may not be popular. Is that? Is it, how, do you, how hard is it to hold back sometimes? Uh, I get that from my mama. <laughs> Ever since I was little, my mama going to say what's on her chest. And I'm the same way. And, yeah, I do have to pull back sometimes. You ever think Kirby might want you to say some of those things? And that's why he keeps sending you out there? He said some, what? You ever think maybe Kirby wants you to say some of those tough things? I know Swift said some tough things this year that people were like, oh, this is what Swift had to say. Sometimes you kind of said that, too. Do you think maybe that's why Kirby sent you out? I mean, I guess. I don't know. But that's just how I was brought up. You know, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to say what it is. I tell right now you want to tell us some things. <laughs> <laughs> Given the fact that Aziz isn't you know, necessarily, uh, is there you know, a certain aspect of when he does say something, you know, people listen to it and it means something? Yeah, you know, you got some people who speak up, you know, when stuff things get tough, but they haven't said anything all year. Well, now it means it, it'll mean nothing. So, but you know, Aziz is, a, you know, he does the right thing on and off the field. So, if he has to say something, people are gonna respect it because he's one of those people he don't talk much. So when he does, listen.